Anytime I go anywhere in the world and I say I'm from Halifax, people's face light up because they have a great story about meeting somebody from Halifax or being in Halifax. It's like the nicest place in all of Canada, I think. Like the people are great, the scenery is great. You, know, you can't see anything like this anywhere else. I know everybody in the neighborhood and I think I just love that community feel. This is my home and I love it and I love the people in it. Surf culture in Nova Scotia is like a little bit difficult to really like nail down, but one of my buddies said it's like California in the 60s. Kind of quiet. It's got a real community feel and a lot of good people. It was 10 years professional surfing and we kind of slowly wound down. We wanted to have a family, so we set up a little shop at the beach where we teach surf lessons and rent surfboards uh, and wetsuits through the summer and, and early fall. A lot of people will ask, you could have lived in Indonesia or Hawaii or California, but you're in Lawrencetown, like kind of a strange choice, but it's actually like incredible. We have world-class waves, but then when you're ready to leave that and, and go people watch and go to some restaurants and things like that, and some nightlife, you're like, you're right there. Growing up, like I just heard this really cool music scene at this place called the Pavilion here in Halifax. I met a whole bunch of people going there, like different musicians around town, and it was a cool way to just like dive into the music scene here. Nightlife is definitely thriving here. There's like so many clubs and bars here, and each one's unique and has a different taste. You might go to Dirty Nellies, but then you might go to somewhere like Bitter Out, which is like a cocktail bar. Or you might go to The Pint, which is like a sports bar. And then there's so many music bars as well. I really think the city has like something for everyone. And that's not something you always find in cities. I think in Dartmouth you have everything. Uh, if you're outdoorsy, you can go to Shibby Park, you can go swimming, you can go rowing on the lake. Uh, you can then stop and have a great beer at New Scotland Yard, grab a cider from Lake City, um, go to Battery Park, have a flight of all different beers from the province. Of course, come to the canteen, have something to eat, uh, and then just like stroll the downtown. There's so many amazing stores. Go to Tibbs, have a coffee, grab a slice from Yaya's. People ask me, you know, what are the must-sees and, and must-dos of Lawrencetown? And, and surfing is obviously one. The walking trails are, are pretty fantastic. And the, the drive out here is, is like amazing, right? You're just winding in and out of the coast and then you kind of come around the corner at Lawrencetown and you see these like incredible waves. We just wanted to be that neighborhood hub. We feel part of this community. We wanted to see Dartmouth's downtown come back to life. There's not many places that you can live this close to the ocean without being a millionaire. My goal is to bring everyone here to, to see all this. It's incredibly beautiful out here, and the world deserves to see this place. But don't take it from me. I'm just